Hello the people of the universe, this is Avian Wizard and welcome back to another video. And today in this video, we are once again going to be continuing to explore the Pirates of the Caribbean mashup pack world. So, it's been two videos so far, this is number three, and we're already, like, probably about a third, maybe a quarter of the way through the map, and that it, like, we still have got, like, loads of stuff to keep exploring yet. So in the last video, I'll just give you a quick reminder, we came here, and we discovered this place, and I think that it looks awesome. Um, this is the place from the second movie, uh, where they're running through the forest, and then like, uh, they're digging for the thing on the beach, aren't they? The chest, Dead Man's chest, that's also the name of the movie. Um, yeah, it's awesome. So, yeah, let's carry on going. I, I, I spotted something just after recording the last episode, and that's where we're going to now. Because I'm slightly curious, if I'm honest. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's go up here and see what's up. And there seems to be a proper pathway. So let's for once follow the proper pathway. And also, as you can see, I've changed my skin again. I'm now using Marty. Uh, he was the short guy, and uh, he had the big gun. And he was from Tortuga. And yeah, I'm sure that narrows it down. <laughs> like... If it, from all the other pirates, but you, you can tell who he is. What have I- wait, is there something on the side- there's something on the side of my head. I can't see it. Hold on. Oh, there he is! Oh, that would make sense, it is being on the side of my head. Um, oh, what's this place? Oh, this is the place from the second movie! Because then, like, there, like, the guy w walks down here, or on that bridge maybe, I don't know, on one of the bridges. And then they're in the cages, aren't they? And they're like, the cages weren't made uh, the, until we got here. And like, the cages are made out of the dead crew members. The bone cages. Yeah, I, I remember this place. Because then the dog in the end credits scene sat in the throne, we need to find the throne. The throne! We found the throne! That was quick. Wait, is this soul sand? It is soul sand. That's so cool. This whole texture pack is awesome. I'm just gonna sit on my throne. I am the leader of the throne now. Oh, this is the thing where Jack was on, wasn't he? Um, on the stick, and then he goes running like along the bridge, and then like he goes into one of these little places. And what's in here? Any music discs? No, but then he puts the seasoning on himself, doesn't he? Uh, because he see, he sees it says West India Trading Company on the bottom. Then he's like, uh, so he says something about seasoning, I don't know. I can't remember word for word. Is this, are these pumpkins? Oh, it's orange wool. I thought it was pumpkins. But, like, this entire place looks awesome. And then these are a bunch of the guys. Oh, what's his name? I think, yeah, he's here. Pintel, that's his name. These are a bunch of the cursed versions of him, like his heads. That's really cool. He's always the guy that I can never remember the name of, along with Rigetti, but I remembered his name. So he's not really on the list anymore. He's the guard dog key guy. I'm not even sure whether he's got a name. Whether he's just like the guard dog with the keys. And then there's Rigetti and then there's Pintel. Pintel I'll probably end up forgetting again. But Rigetti I've been good at because it sounds like spaghetti. It makes me laugh. Oh, I knew it. The goats were sheep. I knew it. I knew it 100%. And I haven't seen any piggy wigs yet. Ooh, the melons look quite cool. I think they're melons. They look like melons. Uh, oh, that ship looks cool. The pearl looks awesome with the moon rising behind it. Looks like that uh, scene from the actual movie, the ghost ship scene. I don't, I'm not sure what, what it's actually called, that scene. But it's when um, Barbos is like... You better believe, uh, you better start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You win, you're in one. Uh, that thing, that whole line thing. Yeah, this place is awesome. I want to find the cages. I want to go inside one of the cages. The first time ever someone said I want to go in a cage. Ooh, there's a whole, like, town sort of thing down there. Well, not a whole, like, town sort of thing. It's pretty small. But it's got a bunch of houses in. It's like a housing district down here. It's like the Ewok village. That's what this looks like. 
This oh, I'm making a Star Wars mashup pack. I know they've done a skin pack, but imagine how cool it would be to like. Ooh, oh, oh, that vines. I wonder what that was. Um, but yeah, like that. Imagine how cool a Star Wars mashup pack would be. This is the East India Trading Company thing that I was on about. What what block is this? Is this iron? I'll oh, chiseled stone bricks. That's right, quite cool. So I assume this is supposed to be the one where Jack comes out of and they're all stood there and he puts seasoning on himself. I think it's paprika, isn't it, that he puts on? I don't know. But yeah, it's it's awesome. Th this entire movie franchise is awesome. There's a bunch of stuff in the hopper. Potato I don't know what the potatoes are supposed to be. It's it's just sort of a curious thing that no one knows. But yeah, we I I said it at the very beginning of this series that they were really giving us enough food. But I'm sort of running out of it now. Because it's a tiny bit worrying. It's fine. What's this block? I'm gonna ruin this entire thing by doing this. It's not obsidian. That'll take even longer. Oh, jukebox! Oh, I'm just gonna put you back down there. And pretend nothing happened. The jukebox looks awesome as well. It, it sort of looks out of its time. It looks like a steampunk sort of thing, doesn't it? Rather than a pirate. Steampunk pirates look quite cool. Uh, let's jump down onto this thing. Can we survive it though? Is a real question. I'm going to say yes because you can actually get a decent uh, section of the way down by doing this. And what's up here? It's all linked. I was expecting it to just be like one thing. Like, oh look, you can go on here, but it doesn't lead anywhere. But it does. It's amazing, and it's turning to night time, so we're going to be, have to be a little bit uh, careful. But it's fine. Like our spawns literally right next to us on the black pearl. So yeah, that'll be good when all well and good when we die. Hopefully that won't happen very soon. The cages! I knew that the cages would be there. I need to try and get our way up uh, make our way up there. But the real question is, how do we do that? That's the real question that only real people would ask. And what's this? Oh hey, let's let's just keep rendering through these awesome caves. They look so cool. This this whole masher pack is awesome. They they've definitely been stepping up their game recently with the texture pack, uh, masher pack worlds. And what's this over right here? Is this like mossy stone? Or is this because this is just gravel? I can hear some mobs. Is there anything special behind here, or is it just tricking me into mining gravel? I think it's just tricking me into mining gravel. Ah, oh, I thought this, this was amazing for a second, and then it tricked me into mining gravel. Who wants gravel? And like, I want to know whether the nether is decorated in this as well. Oh, it's right here. It's right next to the entrance. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make our way straight back through here. Uh, I know that was a little bit of a waste of time, seeing as we're just going straight uh, the way back. But I want to get back up to the cages. The cages look cool. I like the cages. And I don't have any blocks on me so we can't pile up, which is irritating. I could have grabbed that gravel actually now I'm thinking of it. That wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. Where are the cages? Oh, have I just lost the cages? Oh no. Ah. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe there's another bridge. Maybe a third bridge actually. Not sure. I really hope there's a third break. Aww. Oh, it's okay. We're back here. We're back on this awesome looking beach. This looks cool. So, we didn't entirely explore all of that. I'm sure there was probably a music disc in there somewhere. But, hey. That was sort of our fault for being a bit stupid with it. But yeah, this entire place is so cool. And like, obviously it's only on a 360 PS3 size map. Because obviously people need to play this on the 360 uh, PS3 uh, consoles but yeah like even for that it looks awesome like they they've obviously fit everything a lot closer than it uh, was in the movie because obviously there would have been hours of sailing in the actual universe but yeah it looks awesome like they fit it all in so well that it doesn't quite look out of place but it doesn't fit in perfect sort of thing it feels like you've gone to a completely different location, that's what I'm trying to say. But obviously it's fit in, like, literally 
like maybe a hundred blocks away from one another. So yeah, this this entire place is amazing. And you've obviously got uh, furnaces through there. That's not what I was going to say. But like this entire place is so cool. Like I might have to grab some of these apples as well because I think once we run out of pumpkin pie, we're going to have to eat some apples. And then we'll probably be fitting in. Oh, we're not by base for anymore, are we? Ah, oh, would have been good to have that last episode. But yeah, let's uh, let's have some food so then I can get my health up as well. Because I sense I'm going to get damaged in a second, and that is it. We are in fact out of uh, pumpkin pie. So let's just go with the apples. We also got golden apples, but we're not going to use those, especially not yet. So let's. I wonder what the poison potatoes look like actually. Because the cooked potatoes and regular potatoes look a bit strange. But yeah, I 100% have managed to lose that, uh, the cages. That's a bit of a shame. But still, it's fine. And yeah, this entire place looks cool. I love this. Wait, have they got a skin for Jack as the leader of it or not? It would be cool if they did. One of the things that I know they don't have is I know they don't have just like a standard, uh, well they do have a standard Jack. They don't have Jack without his coat, which is one of the things that surprised me, because I was expecting to have loads of Jacks. But obviously we've only got one, which I'm fine with because I still love it, it's amazing. So let's jump down here, and there we go. We did it perfectly first time. Because I'm an absolute parkour pro. Where is my marker? My marker is this way. So we don't want to go that, that way. We want to sort of go this way then, don't we? Because we explored all through that area. And I'm being attacked by mobs. And there are meanie beanies everywhere. And I haven't seen any teeny weeny meeny beanies. Which is good. Because they're teeny weeny and meeny beanie. And we don't like teeny weeny or meeny beanie. Especially when they're teeny weeny meeny beanies. And, um, wait, I wonder what the dyed sheep look like. Because obviously they're, like, they look like goats. Ooh. Oh, there's a witch's hut there. I think that's just a standard witch's hut. And I can hear a witch. Which is probably not uh, reassuring. And you can hear a witch cackle. And what's this? I can see, like, half a circle appearing on my map. And I don't know what it is. So I literally, I've seen very small sections of this map, and ooh, wait, what is this? Oh, ooh, is this like a volcano or something? I'm not sure, that's just the duck, the Dutchman looks so cool from the back. Looks amazing. I love that shit from the back. Especially like in the movie, because obviously it's used, uh, Elizabeth escapes, escapes from it, doesn't she? Yeah, it's just awesome. And so, yeah, let's keep climbing. Let's keep climbing forwards and above, and yeah, let's be awesome. Um, one of the things that I could have done actually is for the skins, I could have just chosen all the uh, all of the nine pirate lords and just cycled through them. I wonder if they have Jack's dad in this texture pack because he was cool. I know he's play. Oh, I can't remember the. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh what. This is, this is so awesome. This is a place from the third movie, isn't it? I literally said in the last video that they should have this place in it if they don't already. And that's amazing. That's ridiculous. That looks so awesome. Oh my god. That looks amazing. Let's, let's go inside. <laughs> um, I'm not even sure how to get inside. It's just loads and loads of ships on top of one another. Looks amazing. Well, by the looks of things, that is the way that you're supposed to get into this place rather than just climbing over to the top. So I'm assuming that there'll be one on this side, maybe? I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look. So let's go as though we were coming in from that side. And uh, are there a bunch of boats here? Yeah, this definitely would be supposed to be like a dock sort of thing, wouldn't it? And it's so cool just standing on R. Oh. Can you push boats again now? 
well you can yeah but like you used to be able to do it like really amazingly where like they would just go flying across lakes and it was incredible now they don't anymore a bunch of boats that come in handy and like this just looks incredible like all these ships even though they're wrecked look amazing it's like when you see like junkyards in movies with all old cars and all the old cars still look cooler than like modern cars do even though they're completely wrecked but this whole, whole place looks amazing I want to try and find the meeting room because that would be cool and that map thing the glazed terracotta thing would look so cool with that and the ooh, villager I wasn't expecting you there cook pork chops I will take you <coughs> hello villager how are you sorry about the cough like I've got a little bit of cold currently Oh no, you're a zombie villager. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that was sad. That was, that was like thinning out the popular. Oh, that was sad. But still, it's fine. We can move on. We we have to move and adapt. Or change and adapt, whatever it's supposed to be. And what's up here? I, I'm determined to find this meeting room. This meeting room will be found today. Ooh. I found the meeting room! Ooh. What's this? Is this... Oh, this must be an end crystal. I knew that they had to have a map thing, but this looks even cooler than the other map. I'm so glad that they did that. Because that looks awesome. This is the proper table. Then, like, Jack's dad comes out from here. Ooh, diamond. Jack's dad comes out from the back, doesn't he? Or from here, maybe? <coughs> I think it might be from here. And hello. Who are you? I'm pretty sure this is Jack's dad office. What is this? Is this like... This is a cabin of a ship. This looks so much like the cabin in the Pearl that it's amazing. But yeah, he comes out of here, doesn't he? Like, this looks like a turned over ship as well. This entire place looks amazing. Like, in the movie you can sort of see that it's a whole lot of ships. But in this, like, you can see that they've managed to do it as though it's in a huge ship. Like, this looks like the turned over bottom of a ship. It's amazing. And this place where all the seats are there and then like they're all like we should have a vote and then they vote and then Jack's like I vote for Elizabeth. And yeah they end up voting for Elizabeth. But we need to find music discs. And that is our quest. And we will fulfill our destiny. And it depends whether our destiny is to find any music discs or our destiny is to never find any music discs in this map. But either way it's cool because we get to see this cool map. And it's just amazing. But yeah, let's keep on going. Let's keep going up. Can we get any further up is the real question. Yes, we can. I'm going to try and get to the top. The meeting room is the main place that I wanted to find inside. But I just want to get to the top on the outside. This place looks so cool. Like, all these are like the cabins of all the ships. And you've got like the bed stand and stuff. This entire thing is so cool. This is awesome. And then like you've got all the rails and stuff over the crates to make it look more like real. And it's just amazing. Let's go through here, shall we? And we did. And what's this entire Ooh. That looks really cool. Let's jump on. Oh, that was very close to going badly. Um I'm sorry, ship. I'm going to have to steal a part of you. So then I can survive. And surviving is always good, you know? You gotta keep on surviving. What is this driftwood? This driftwood looks awesome. I assume this is dark oak then. Dark oak logs look awesome as well, it's amazing. Yeah, let's keep going. And like, all these seats look awesome. Like, it just looks like it's inside a ship. You feel like you're climbing up a crow's... Like, uh, the mast, sorry, into a crow's nest. Like, everywhere you go. Like, it's all so cool. The ship designs aren't necessarily as good as the ones, like, over there on the main... Uh, on the main map. Not on the mainland. There aren't any pirate ships on the mainland. But yeah, they're still awesome. They're still absolutely incredible. And, like, there's two sections of it as well. So I've come to the top of it on this section... And I think this might be as high as you're supposed to go. That's a cool steering wheel. But 
I want to go higher. Because I think that side's higher. And why can't I get in? Oh, um... I'm being very destructive, but it's fine. All these ships are already out of service. Okay, so by the looks of things, you weren't actually supposed to go in there because there's nothing in the chests. That's not only what it means. If if it's blocked off and there's no uh, stuff in the chest, it normally means that you're not supposed to go in there. And can I... Or can I not make this jump? I don't know. Can I? Um, to be or not to be? It looks like it's to be. <laughs> um, yeah, let's... Um, Let's just forget about that. So, I'll end this video here on that note. And, yeah, there's a bunch of guardians still, and it's really weird. Um, yeah, on that note, I will end the video here. And I've been loving doing this series, because I just love this map so much. It's so cool. And, yeah, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I have. And I'll see you all later. Goodbye.